Okay. We are going to discuss about the pneumatic system in this lab and how the pneumatic system works, what are the components we use in our lab and we will briefly discuss about uh, these components. So first of all, we can see here, here is a compressor, right? This compressed air basically passed through the air service unit, then it passed through, you know, this like a push button, any valve, then it goes to the cylinder, right? It produces some mechanical motion. Pneumatics is basically highly compressed air, which is, you know, branch of technology that deals with the study and application of pressurized gas to effect mechanical motion. So we will discuss about all these components one by one. So we can see here how it works. So high pressure air enters through this, you know, system here. This is, you know, cylinder, single acting cylinder. It push the piston outside and we can see it make like a motion, right? So this is extended position, this is a normal position here. So we can say this is kind of energy which is used for the effect of mechanical motion. Now, the unit of air pressure we use bar and one bar is equal to 10 to about 5 newton per meter square or 0.1 megapascal or 14.5 psi all these values are given in the lab manual right we will see one by one yes in pneumatic system we also use a symbol right so this is the compressor here right and this is a symbol of this compressor same like that we can see we also use our air intake manifold power supply and uh, we use this like a symbol, that's like a triangle or air supply system. Same here. So this unit is called air service unit. It has three main components, filter, which basically, basically which stops the, any dust come inside the compressed air. Water separated, sometimes we have a small droplets of the water inside the air, it can stop here. And similarly, we also control the air pressure right now our like a lab this you uh, notice showing four bar uh, pressure right now in in the regulator right so this is a three main components there are other components but we are not discussing right now in this in air service unit as i explained before we have air filter we use this symbol water separate we use this symbol pressure regulator we use this symbol here right it is on and off and this is you know this gate here and lubricator sometime you know, to uh, duplicate the stuff like as the thing to just move, make a movement easy. And uh, in air service unit, you can see all these components in one unit. That is why it's called air service unit. Uh, in pneumatic system, as I explained you before, in a single acting cylinder, we have one port, we have one port, right, and the high pressure air enters through this port and push the piston. Same like that you can see here this is one port. Inside is a spring with a spring and you know it moves like you know back and forth by this movement here. And we can show you the real component of single acting cylinder. So the component you see in front of you is the single acting cylinder. It has it has one port over here. This is called a port and inside it it has a spring. So when, when you put compressed air inside this port, the piston extends, right? And when you cut the air supply, what happens is the piston comes back. And the reason it comes back is because it has a spring inside it. Next, you know, we have double acting cylinder. In a double acting cylinder, we have two ports. You can see here, these are two ports here, right? The high pressure air enters through intake, you know, manifold and it opens the cylinder and high pressure enter, enter from this side is basically push the piston back. And you can see here the real component by looking this video. So this component that you see in front of you is the double acting cylinder. It has two ports and it has no spring inside. So what happens when you put compressed air in this port over here in this direction, the piston extends. What happens when you stop putting the compressed air, the piston does not go back because it has no spring. So to make the piston go back, you have to put air in this direction and then the piston retracts or closes. Okay, to control the movement of a cylinder, 
we use well right for the wells we have open well and we also have a closed well and how we know which well is what so before going into detail you can see here this is 3 by 2 push button well in a 3 by 2 push button well one port we always use for the air supply right and two for it is output port and three for the exhaust one valve is closed here one valve is open position and we need to understand how we can distinguish how we can differentiate we always look number 1 if the number 1 is connected with symbol t it mean the valve is closed if the one is going up attached with number 2 output port it mean the valve is open and you can see the real component in this video so this here is a 3 by 2 way valve that is normally closed so it has three ports port 1 this is the air supply port 2 is the output port and port 3 is inside the component and this is the symbol for the 3 by 2 way valve push button and over here you can see that there's a t here this is closed the air supply is closed so this is called a 3 by 2 way normally closed valve this other valve that i'm holding on the right uh you can see here that number 1 is directly connected to port 2 So this is called a 3 by 2 way normally open valve and this is a 3 by 2 way normally closed valve. Okay. So we can see here the real components. This is called 3 by 2 push button closed valve. This is single acting cylinder and we have this is intake manifold power supply air supply all are the same thing. This is the air service unit here. Let we see here this number 1 is attached here with number 1. This is input port. high pressure air enters through a system and it is basically stop here because this valve is closed when we push this button green button you can see the cylinder is open it means this line give the air pressure to the output port and it produce a high pressure inside the cylinder and the cylinder is open now here we can see this valve is open position right and this wall showing you see one is attached with number 2 the this you see inlet input port is attached directly with the output port and the valve is open and that's why we can see here high pressure air enters and the cylinder is always remain open but when we press this green button you can see here it will be closed so it is the opposite of 3 by 2 normally close push button valve so you can see here sign number 1 this is like that Now we have 5 by 2 switch valve. We need to understand how it works. We can see here this is basically we have one is inlet and this is uh, two and four is output port and three five basically we have exhaust port. And you can see here two and four output port, three and five is exhaust port here. When the valve is in this position, this valve always open, right? So when this valve is open in this position, means this give the air. From the back side, if the valve is attached from one to four, it gives the air from the front side. So you can see the real practical. Uh, so this is the five by two way switch valve, and this is the symbol for the switch valve. And current number port one is the air supply always. So right now, let's assume that the air is coming out of port two. So if you want to switch it, make the air come out of port four, what we have to do is we have a switch here. So we just simply turn the switch. and right now the air is coming out of port 4 if you want to switch back to port 2 we just have to turn the switch that's why this is called the 5 by 2 way switch valve so in this assignment here we see a double acting cylinder connected to the 5 by 2 way switch valve so you will notice that in port 1 we have connected the air supply right so the air supply comes from here and right now the double acting cylinder is closed so if i switch see the air comes in from this port which is port 4 and the double acting cylinder opens to retract the double acting cylinder we just have to turn it the other side so this is open this is closed so you assign it to 